Did someone say trenching? Well, I'm ready, boss. I'm ready. Let's get trenching. nice one hey guys welcome to the show today we're going to be installing some garden fence edging with my man ash yeah this is good if you want to like divide the land between your neighbors you know the heights of the land and all that stuff make sure the weeds aren't cross pollinating yes so i'm right here we've got two forms of edging we've got one using acrylic sheets they're thick they're strong they're powerful we've also got a bit of rocks now rocks aren't they're, they're beautiful but they're not as um obstructive as acrylic sheets and longer lasting, they can move, all that kind of stuff. So we're actually gonna be extending our sheets and making it a bit longer on the edge, making it a bit longer. And we have over here is a handy panel. Now this isn't as good looking as the acrylic sheets that we currently have, but you know, you're not gonna see it because it's gonna be hidden away in the soil. And this was $15 for what? a sheet. It was cheap as chips. What? Whereas to get a proper acrylic, that was like 70. Yeah. So these are the tools you're gonna to need today for the install. So you need a drill to make sure it holes. You're gonna need um, some cutting tool. So we got scoring and a saw. You're gonna need something to measure or at least keep things straight. A pen to mark some stuff. Measuring tools, like I said. And this one over here, this is called a rivet gun. And this is a world exclusive because it's the first time in our lives we're gonna be using a rivet gun. An amazing thing about rivets is it comes in a little piece like this so there's a fat piece and a slim piece and then after you pump it up it explodes turn to a little noggin look at that before and after that's how the rivet gun works it kind of explodes out and it hammers it in so that's what we're going to be doing today so let me show you the, the piece over here as you can see on this side here the grass level is a bit lower and on the other side is a bit higher up so this is our currently installed acrylic sheets and these are the rocks. So the first thing I think we should do is let's dig up, do a bit of trenching, make it nice and clean so when we install the panels, they fit nice and flush. Ready? Did someone say trenching? Well, I'm ready, boss. I'm ready. Let's get trenching. In, in real life, it actually takes a bit longer, so we might just fast forward this bit and uh, skip to the ending. We managed to furry a nice deep trench over here, so we're suitable for 20 centimeters. So I think we've pretty much got a straight line going now because all you need really is to be able to go like this and run your hand across and make sure you don't have any obstacles, which we don't on this panel. So this panel is now complete. Nice. So I think the next thing we want to do is play with the rivet gun because yes. you're excited about that one. I am so excited about it. It's going to be the it. first time in your life using this, right? Yes, I've never used this kind of duck gun before in my life or any gun. So the great thing about our current fence is there's actually a piece of acrylic loosened out. The rivets have become parted. So we're going to be getting rid of one and installing a new one. So let's do that right now. Let's do it. You need a drill and you're going to need a rivet gun and you're going to need a rivet. Let's go. So that's in. We've made a new hole into the plastic and the metal. And so now it's time to place in our rivet with our rivet gun and we're done. So you get yeah. the rivet. You test it on different holes. So this one fits, but also this one fits as well. So now it fits. And then you put this inside and just force it in. Make sure it's all the way to the edge and then you just depress your plunger until it snaps. Make sure it's all the way in. Knee bump. 
and it snaps off. Right? Yeah. That's a nice one, isn't it? That's clean. So we did our first rivet. How did it feel? It was, it was fun. It was tougher than expected. I have to say, there is a bit of technique. Like you know, when you are pushing down on the rivet gun, you have to put counter pressure on so it doesn't come out each time you are priming up the gun itself. Yeah, because when you when you shoot in, it kind of pushes back out again. Yeah. So you need to always make sure that the rivet is fully in its. Pretty obvious once you've done it a few times. First time you're doing it, it's a bit it's kind of stuff that would unnerve you maybe. Yeah, but I tell you what though, once it was in, it does look really clean. It looks, I just can't believe that that it's happened. Flush is it's beautiful. so clean yeah. and fresh. Yeah, I love it. So other I'm happy. things to note is the actual drilling. That was yeah. uh, intense, right? It was tough. So I mean, drilling a new hole in wasn't so bad through the plastic. Um, my tip is when you're going through the metal itself, keep drilling because the actual pipe that we have has a hollow. Um, has a hollow internal so you want to keep drilling until you go all the way through and then you'll hit the other end and obviously stop drilling at that point so you don't cause damage to the other end of your tube yeah, so I say be careful when drilling because you don't want to pierce through the other end that was yeah. a bit dangerous so you were going <laughs> you went heads but you need to have a bit of strength to go through it though and the last thing you need to know is how do you know what size drill piece to use so on the package it, we got we got 4.8 diameter to 6.4 diameter what that means is it's 4.8 when you're drilling in for the first time the hole but it will expand to 6.4 so if you have a little bit of drill bit like a set I chose the metal connections and I went for piece number five five millimeters and that was good enough for us it was actually a bit less spacious because it's a bit of a struggle to mm -hmm. put the rivet inside but once it's done it's done so now it's time to get our new sheets cut it and place it on you ready can't wait so this is the sheet we're using again it's called handy panel it's uh, super cheap and we come up with um, a piece that's actually 60 centimeters wide. So we're gonna have to shorten out. I think we want 20 centimeters. Mm -hmm. All right, so over here we've got 40 centimeters, then 20 centimeters. I'm gonna draw a line over there and then another line. And then what we should find is this remaining part should be 20, which it is as well. So 20, there we go. And then all we're gonna do now is measure again 20 centimeters from each corner and then draw connecting lines to make sure that we're cutting in a straight line. Make sure it's all good. And we've got our nice sharp blade. Moving down. Go. All we have to do is bring it to the edge of the table and give it a gentle tease, like so. And then what you can do with your, with your table edge being your guide, you can then cut in the last part of the plastic and hey presto, you're done. You'll notice that now that you've got your nice panel, there is a bit of blue plastic wrap over here, which you can take off once you're ready. Now that looks like a pretty decent piece of plastic. Time to get a rivet gun and pop this on to the edge. I've got my piece of um, sheet in place. I'm just gonna have a look and I really want to overlap it so that there is no gap for any weeds to come in in between. So what I'm gonna do is overlap it slightly and pop a new rivet here so that it's nice and secure. And then I'll do one every so often, perhaps every about 20 centimeters. But whilst I do that, I wanna make sure that I've got enough ground level here to place my plastic. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. Look at that. Good job. So I'm going to bring this one back over here because my overlapping sheet is going to pop one over here as well. So about two inches away from the end and we're going to make a new hole. All right. Okay, one more. So now that you've done your first one, congratulations. All you have to do now is repeat the process, putting a couple of supports in the
in the middle and hey presto, that is your fence edging done. Job complete. Boss, I'm out. You do the rest. I'm done. So for this end piece, I'm just gonna bend it along because it gives a nice border like that. And then I can always score it later. But the idea is I want to get this in position, something like that. So it's still long on this side, but just comes across on this side. So that looks good to me. So I guess let me just draw this hole in and get it fixed in place. Last one. Good job. Alright guys, so there you have it. That is how we have done our border edging for our fence. And hopefully no more weeds will be coming through from the neighbor's lawn. So we learned a lot from this video. We learned how to drill, how to rivet, how to measure, how to cut. Amazing yeah. stuff on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Right now, and hit it, like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.